Hi, everybody. Well, I just got back from my holiday vacation, and I collected a lot of frozen stuff during my vacation. We went to Florida to visit family, and while I was there, we got to go to uh, Disney World. We stayed there overnight one night. We went to Downtown Disney and the Magic Kingdom. And surprisingly enough, I didn't find a large amount of frozen items there. Most of the frozen items they did have, they were almost sold out. And anything Elza was like nearly impossible to find. I was actually quite shocked at, at how hard it was to find anything. But the movie is still new, so um, I did hear that they're supposed to come out with some new stuff within the next month or so. So, if you collect any of the frozen items, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. We did get to go down to um, the Disney store as well, because there isn't a Disney store located on Disney property. I guess that's two separate things, I was told. They sell different items. But it uh, it's kind of confusing. Like, I had the lady explain to me. But... Uh, we went to the Disney store and we also went to a few bookstores as well as some shops around and I found some different items here and there. So here's the items I got and I will show you um, the prices and where I got it at in case you're interested in purchase purchasing them somewhere. Alright, first off, here is the Disney Parks Snowflake Pen. Trying to show it a little better on my camera. There we go. It's really pretty. Um, it's got Anna and Elsa with a glittery background, and these are actually stones. This was extremely hard to find. One of my friends had gotten hers, and I was actually shocked at how hard it was to find it. I bought the last one in all of downtown Disney, and I also looked at the Magic Kingdom when I was there and I couldn't find it there either. Somebody did tell me they had some at Epcot, but of course I wasn't going there, so. But luckily I did find this in downtown Disney, so <laughs> I was really happy to at least find one. I was shocked it was the last one. It does have a little Mickey Mouse clip holder in the back. Next I have these pens. This is a pen set I bought these in downtown Disney. They had a ton of these, so they weren't too hard to find. They had them at two different stores. It's a really cute set. Oh, I stayed at the Little Mermaid, one of the Little Mermaid rooms. And this was the sticker. I took it off and put it on the bag. But it does have the same Mickey Mouse clips on the back. Um, this one was $22.95. And this one, I think, was... It doesn't have the price on the back, so I can't really remember. I think it was either 10 to $12, something around there. I also got um, the dolls. I was looking for them at Disney World, and they were actually really hard to find. Here's uh, the Elsa one. She only had, I think, four dolls left in all of Magic Kingdom, and they were totally sold out of them at... Uh, downtown Disney, both dolls. They're really pretty. And these dolls are fairly cheap. They are on the Disney Store site. When I tried to buy them, though, they were sold out of Elsa. Um, they probably might have restocked by now, but they go for about $17 on the Disney Store. At the park, I actually paid 20 bucks for these, so it's a little bit more than Anywhere than Disney Store. What's shocking is this one actually says Disney Store on it. And the other lady at um, the World of Disney said that they don't carry the Disney Store merchandise within the parks. So I guess I was either lied to or something. So <laughs> it's confusing. But there's Elsa. She's really nice. I'm actually going to take these dolls out of the boxes at some point so I can take pictures of them. And then I have... Anna. She's got beautiful looking freckles on her face. And she has the little um, stripe in her hair. 
my little hat. She's got a little mittens. And her dress is really nicely detailed. Really close to the film. And I paid $20 for this one also. It's the same price. So, um, If you want to know which store at uh, Magic Kingdom I bought these at, it was like the Princess Boutique. I think it's like right next to Cinderella Castle. So if you're looking for these and you go to Disney World, that's where they'll be. <clears throat> or at least when I was there, they were there. <laughs> they had tons of Anna, but they only had a few of Elsa left, so... Hopefully they'll restock those. Um, at the Disney store, I did buy one of the mugs. This is the Anna mug. The Elsa is actually hard to find now, so I'm going to try to look on eBay and try to find it, hopefully. It's got two different pictures of her on it. And these ones were 13 roughly. And it's got the Frozen logo inside the cup. It's really nice. Also bought this. This is the, I guess it's like a journal or a little, uh, it doesn't really, didn't really have a stand for these at the store. This was actually the last one at the Disney store that I was at. And it was just laying open. Somebody had gone through it, but I checked it to make sure that everything was there before I bought it. The inside it does come with Elsa and Anna inspired notepads. This is a little uh, notebook. And you have a little um, calendar based kind of planner here. And it comes with a pen. And I used this pen once, and it's a blue glitter gel pen. So it's a really nice little pen. And this one was $13 as well. Also got this. <clears throat> this is a uh, little crafting set. Let's see what the tag says. Crafting, it's a stamp set. And this one was 17. They had a few of these, but not very many. Let's see if I can open it. Okay, there we go. Inside you have some Olaf notepads. There's some, let's see, it's just plain paper. Uh, it's colored pencils, some stamper ink, and inside you have some stamps. And these are really nice. I can't wait to use them. And then some stickers. And they're all about the same. So yeah, it's a really nice little gift set, I thought. that and I also got this scarf this is a child scarf but I thought the embroidery on it was so pretty and they had it on sale so where the tag is at there it is it's originally marked 15 bucks but they had it marked down to 10 and they also had the hat that matched it but the image on the hat was smaller, just had their heads profiles on side by side, like a heart or a circle. But this one was really nice. I thought it was really pretty. And it's actually really soft on the inside. <laughs> so, don't know if I'll use it, but I really, really love the pictures on them. Okay, next at the Disney store, I also got these shirts. I I was so, so shocked I got Elsa. Her shirt is actually sold out on the Disney Store site, and I was really upset because I wanted to buy it. But they actually, 
um, had a few at the Disney store in Florida that I went to, one of the ones. And um, they only had three sizes, and they were all, like, really large sizes. And they were, since these are adult shirts, these are adult women's shirts, they were huge. And I asked the lady if they had any more sizes. I was trying to find a small. She's like, oh, all we have is medium. And I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> and the mediums are actually perfectly um, sized for me. I usually wear a large in women's novelty shirts, uh, usually the ones I get from Hot Topic. Um, but the mediums were perfect. Um, I actually got a small in this one, and I actually wish I would have got a medium because it's a little tighter. But I'm, but it's mainly around the um, sleeves, so I'm going to try to stretch them out a little bit if I can next time I'll wash it. But the images are really pretty. It's, uh, now this one I just noticed doesn't have her name on it, but uh, the material on her hat and around her uh, cloak here is actually kind of velvety. And then um, the Elsa shirt, I really like. I've worn it once already. It has a lot of um, glittery details all around it. It's kind of rough textured. And it has her name at the bottom, which I liked Elsa. So it's a really lovely shirt. I was just so shocked they had it. Because... I didn't think I'd ever get it. Um, next I got, uh, oh, I got these, but that's for another video. <laughs> I got those today. Um, I got these crowns. I bought these at Toys R Us, uh, I think for around six or eight dollars. I can't really remember exactly, but, uh, they're by Jack Pacific and, um, they're just little crowns, uh, little plastic crowns that fold out. And this one's got Anna on it. And this one's got Elsa on it. And one thing that's weird is uh, the Disney Store actually has a tiara for Frozen, but it's an Anna crown, which is weird because she doesn't wear a crown in the movie. Elsa's the one with the crown, so I don't know what that's about. It's really pretty crown though. It's like gold and it has like a gem that dangles at the top. But I actually like these ones better. And they had one for both of them. So I decided to get them. The um, Elsa one I actually wore at my uh, trip to Magic Kingdom. And I met some, uh, some of the princesses there. And they always commented on it calling me the queen. So I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, I got some of the books um here's just some more of the books uh this one i got at walmart these ones are actually hard to find each store i found them in um they only had one left uh it's got stickers inside and they're reversible one story is about um Anna telling the story about Elsa, and then on the other side, it's Elsa telling the story about Anna and their relationship. So it's a cute little storybook. Um, it retails five dollars, but I think I got this one for about uh, four twenty-five, something like that. It was a little cheaper. Um, this one was on my wish list. This is the Frozen Essential Guide. I haven't got the chance to read it all the way through yet. But it's got a complete breakdown of the film and their characters and scenes from it. And it's really a cool book. And it's $13 and that's how much I paid for it because I bought it at Barnes & Noble. So everything's full price at Barnes & Noble. So that's pretty much that. Here's what the pages inside look like. There are some scenes that didn't make it in the film that are in here, but they used it for some of the merchandise and ads and such. And this one is, I think, the most popular Frozen book that's out. A Sister More Like Me. This one was written uh, by Barbara Jean Hicks. And the illustrations are actually from Brittany Lee, who um, 
is one of the Disney uh, animators, I think, the states in the book. Book. I think it's in the back. Yeah, it says is a visual development artist at Walt Disney Animation Studios. So that's pretty cool. Her art's really nice. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. She actually has another one of uh, The Little Mermaid, which I'd like to get at some point. But a lot of her art can be found online, even from this book, so you can look it up pretty easily and find it. But it's just a, like a little poem book about uh, about them wanting a sister more like themselves, and then discovering that they actually are happy that their personalities are different. So it's a really cute book. I'd recommend it if you're a Frozen fan. And it's glittery on the back. And. Um, I think that's that's everything. Now, my sister-in-law, Anna, actually drew and colored this picture for me. It is so awesome. She does such a great job on it. I just love the way her art style is. I wish I could draw a little better than I do. <laughs> I guess if I had more practice, I probably could, but it's a really pretty picture. I actually have pictures, and I'm going to be posting more pictures of all the stuff I showed off on DeviantArt and uh, my Facebook page. So look forward to that if you want some better pictures of them and such. Alright, well thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think. Alright, bye.